Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I wanted to bring you guys along with me for the week. No real plans this week, but just wanted to try out a weekly vlog and see how it goes. I used to do weekly vlogs all the time on my channel. Like I did them for forever. And I typically just end up with too much content to make a weekly vlog. <laughs> I'm always recording, but I wanted to try. So I'm gonna bring you guys along with me this week. And we're starting off this week. Uh, today's Monday and I'm not feeling my best self. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I just feel a little off. Like I'm just noticing I feel lower energy. I have a bit of anxiety and that really sucks because I typically don't get anxiety anymore. I used to get it all the time like daily, but I just don't anymore. It's just, I don't know, but today it's like, I don't know. I just kind of feel a bit of panic and a bit of like overwhelmed and I don't know why. And I literally just got off the phone with Trevor and I'm like, I want to pinpoint it. I don't know why I feel this way. So anyways, I feel like maybe I figured it out, but I don't know. Um, well, actually, I think I did. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we all have those days, right? So that's how we're starting the week off, guys. <laughs> oh man, it's okay though. I know myself so well. Like I, I will be, I will be completely fine. And maybe with even in the next few hours, fingers crossed. But yeah, I definitely feel like I made might have gotten triggered recently. And now I'm feeling all sorts of things. <laughs> so there's that. I seen someone doing this and I'm not sure who, but if you put your green onion in water, it grows. <laughs> so the last time I bought green onion, that's what I did. And this is about four days right now of growth. So it was cut there and there. This one's not really growing too much, although it's starting, but all of this is new growth. And I changed the water every day and I just think that's kind of cool. The plan this week is to get this planted. So I think I want to put green onion in it. I want to put, um, obviously I can't put much in it, but I want to put like a green onion and I want to put string beans and then something else, but I'm not sure what. But you will see that in this vlog, I am sure of it because that is my goal this week is to get something planted in this and that will be a start and eventually maybe I'll start doing more like a, an actual garden and maybe do some sort of shrubs or flowers or something along here but I really don't know what I'm doing so I'm just learning uh, with baby steps. <laughs> I got some mail. I am so excited to open this see what's inside. This is from, I believe I think I know what this is from. Yeah, this is, this is really cool. Thank you. Aw. So this company here, Fly Kirby, sent me this package in the mail. I'm sure by the time this weekly vlog goes up, you guys have already seen this. I am so excited. I kind of wanted to show you though how things get sent. Cute. <gasps> what is this? They sent me a little tote bag. Look at this, Florence. Ooh, that's cute. I didn't know that was coming. <gasps> that's, look at that color. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I'm so excited to try all these on. Thank you so much, Fly Curvy. coming inside from my morning coffee. And look at this one. <laughs> wait, wait. You're holding down the fort while I was out there, were ya? Oh my gosh, she's too much. I love you. I love you so much, baby girl. Oh, happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday, guys. My mom's on her way. We're gonna go do our groceries together. 
it's bright out. It's actually really warm out. I'm wearing all black today because I hate wearing black now. I mean, I like it, but I'm just trying not to. And, uh, but today is Tuesday, so I'm doing a lot of cleaning today, groceries. So I just like, I've been noticing I've been getting things dirty. <laughs> so I'm just wearing all black today, but it's beautiful out. It feels, it feels hot. <laughs> like, ah. But I want to let you know I'm feeling much better. Uh, yesterday, once I pinpoint my trigger and how I was feeling, I was able to kind of like work through it and just let myself know that I was okay and all that kind of stuff. And I felt much better. By the time the kids came home from school, I felt like my old self again. So that's huge improvement for me. Uh, normally that I would have just let that ruin my whole day. <laughs> I'd be like, well, I'm doomed today. I made a beautiful supper. We had a beautiful taco bake. I visited my nephews. Like we had a it ended up being a great day. So that was only like a few hours. But today, we gotta get groceries. Sunday, or Sunday dinner, Tuesday dinner. It's gonna be tacos. I know I literally just said we had taco bake yesterday, but it's it's completely different, taco bake and tacos. The kids requested tacos. So that's what we're having for our supper tonight. Very simple, easy, which is fine. And then for dessert, I always like to do dessert on Tuesdays. I'm going to make Hopefully, if I can find all the ingredients, but I want to make a uh, strawberry shortcake. So they should have strawberries and they should have the little cakes, but sometimes they don't. Grocery shopping's going well. <laughs> this is all mine, by the way. This, this the top shelf is mom's. This is all mine. <laughs> don't those chairs look nice? Oh, yeah. These, oh, this one here, mom. That's like the one we like, but without the rest. Like this is the one that we use yeah. with the foot. I can't believe it's Why is it so expensive? <laughs> Why is it? Oh, these ones aren't bad, 34 for this one. That would be great for the camper. Yeah. Do you think? And it has the arms. That's really good. Yeah. Mom really likes having arms on her, yeah. on her chair. Mom and I are in, going into a garden center. <gasps> Look at the group of daisies. Oh my gosh, what do you do with those? You plant those in the ground or can you just keep them on your table? Those are so pretty. It is my 20 year high school reunion this summer. And um, there's like a huge Facebook thing group or whatever. And I'm I'm in it um, and it's our all of our graduating class. And it is the strangest feeling. Oh my God. I don't know how I feel about it. Like, I don't have a lot of memory from high school. I hated school. I'll show you my old high school photo. I didn't even remember that photo. That's not my graduating photo. Uh, that is my grade 11 photo. So they're like posting photos of like all of our high school. And I don't know why high school is just like weird. I just, I just found it like not the best time of my life. It's really weird though, like seeing all these like high school flashbacks and stuff like that. And I have a daughter going in high school in September. Like Florence will be going into high school this year. <laughs> Oh gosh, she'll do much better than I did. I'll tell you that much. She will. But oh my gosh, that's crazy. I'll be going to my 20 year high school reunion with a high schooler. Like she's not coming with me, but you know what I mean? Like I'll have a high schooler. That's wild. We got our taco meat, all of our toppings. I did have some red pepper, but unfortunately when I Oh, uh, cut it open it was moldy so that sucks i just bought it today we got our candles so trevor just walked in the door hi how was work oh, taco tuesday taco tuesday Sweet. supper's ready guys oh, just in time. Oh. supper's ready okay thank you good job. thank you happy wednesday chef's plate just arrived and i want to show you what we're having the rest of the week 
Indian style sweet potato dal. I had this before. It is really, really good. I think we've had this one as well. Sizzling chorizo skillet with rice and sour cream. Really, really good. Uh, we've had a lot of these now. We've pretty much tried all of them. I'm not sure if I had this. Maybe. But that's what we got for this week. Today has been a great day so far. It's only lunchtime, but we're having a good day over here. We're getting lots done. I just filmed a video that I had to go up today, so I got to edit that and then we're good for the day. We are going to try something fun. <laughs> Smarties orange cream pop flavor. You want to try one? Yes. Do you want to try it on camera or no? Yeah. So I got this at the bulk barn. I got so many new fun flavors of stuff at the bulk barn, but we ate them all off camera, didn't we? Yeah. There was, I'll rebuy them. <laughs> They were that good, I'll worry about them and we and we can do it. But Especially that like um the ice cream one, what was it called? The drumstick one, the Kit Kat? Oh, the Kit Kat drumstick. Yeah, yeah. It's not it. an ice cream drumstick, it's a drumstick ice cream flavor Kit Kat bar. <gasps> that was yeah. the best one. Anyways, we had like the creamsicle uh Twizzler, we had the the strawberry arrow, we had we had all sorts of fun things here last week, but I did, we didn't try these yet. So Smarties are a popular brand of chocolate here in Canada. I they come in all different colors, but they're they candy-coated chocolate. So these ones are just the cream, orange cream pop flavor. So they're just all, this wants to focus on our faces and not the candy. There we go. All that color, so let's um, try it. Try it at the same time. I'm gonna say on go. Three, two, one, go. Oh. I should have known. <laughs> Come on. It tastes like orange chocolate. I'm not a fan of orange chocolate. It's not the best. This is not for me, mm. but. I could definitely see how it would be for somebody. If you like orange chocolate, that would probably be good. It has the smarty consistency of that orange chocolate flavor. I bet you it would be good if if you like it. I don't like to me. That's a two out of five. It's just not my Same. type of thing. Do you want to try one on camera or no? Uh, doesn't it's up to you. What is it? Orange Smarty. The kids just got home from school. Here. It's called the Orange Cream Pop Smarty. Limited edition. It tastes like orange chocolate, right? I don't like orange flavored stuff. Like, why are they orange flavored? I hate flavored. orange flavored it's everything. It's never good. I love oranges, but orange flavored stuff, not for me. Happy Thursday, friends. Today is going to be one of those days. I just feel it. Or it's going to go like this. <laughs> it's going to go so fast. I plan on going to like a greenhouse or whatever they're called, garden center, and get some things to plant in my little box. I invited my mom for lunch. <laughs> so I'm glad I'm getting my walk in. I didn't go yesterday. Yesterday it was cold and raining, and I was like, you know what, no, we don't need to be doing that today. So, I'm kind of going for a little bit of a longer walk today. Not too much longer, but just kind of listening to what I feel like doing. Mom arrived for lunch. So this is what I made us, the Indian style sweet potato dal. This is how it turned out. I think it looks, it looks good. amazing. Yeah. Mom and I actually have a change of plans. We were going to go to the garden center and get my plants to plant, but it is a really chilly day today. And I don't think it's a good day to plant things. They would be fine, it's not freezing, but I wanna wait till a little bit of a nicer day and tomorrow is gonna be much nicer than today. So I think I'm gonna hold off until tomorrow. So we're going to Starbucks. Starbucks, what can I get started for you today? 
Hi, can I get a grande white chocolate macadamia cream cold brew? Of course. Anything else for you today? Yeah, and can I also get a grande chocolate java mint frappuccino? Did you want it with or without coffee? Uh, with, please. All right. Anything else for you today? No, that's everything. Super. Thirteen ninety-two coming up. Thank you. My app wasn't working. It was so cold there today. Like it, the weather has been so nice here, and then it's just like, like that. It was like freezing, and it's like, what the heck? So today, I hate. Did you find it cold today? Mm. She's like, tomorrow's supposed to be much nicer, and then like I think we're smooth sailing now. Mm. Hopefully, there's no more cold snaps, cause like that's. It was hailing. Yeah. It's depressing. I was I had to stand outside with a pole, holding a pole up and measuring. Stuff. Girl, what are you doing that for? My goodness, it is a beautiful morning. You gotta take advantage, you guys. When you live in Canada, we have we have some pretty awesome summers. But you know what? They're not long. <laughs> so you really got to just take it. Like I truly, I take it all in because this is what I look forward to all winter. I dream of this all winter long, sitting out on my deck with my coffee. It's beautiful. out. I love, I love listening to the birds, watching the bird drama. Today, I'm definitely going to get something planted in my planter box. I'd love to get a flower for my table, my outside table guys the sun is the most perfect medicine i love it tgif guys oh also there's no school today it's a long weekend so there's no school today or monday so i have the kids home with me for the next four days it's gonna be lovely i'm like a fish out of water let me tell you <laughs> oh, oh my god i don't know oh this is what we're looking for Broccoli. I don't want to grow broccoli. I feel like that's advanced. Guys, I am becoming a legit farmer. I've just, I'm gonna get this plant. It's a, what's it called, mom? Hydrangea. And I'm gonna plant that in the ground at my house. I don't have a shovel, but Trevor to get one and to bring it home. Yeah, this is <gasps> What's this? <gasps> I think I had a successful time at the garden shop, so these puppies are all coming home with me. <gasps> I'm so excited. Honestly, I think playing Animal Crossing and doing all the gardening and the hybrid plants and the the farming, I think it really made me realize I like this. Yeah. Truthfully. I cannot believe how much I like doing this. I used to dread coming here with my sister. Really? Yeah, like we used to come here to get your Mother's Day gift. And my sister loves all this stuff. And I'd be like, ugh, I don't want to go there. Like I just hated all of this stuff. And now I'm like, I want to plant everything. I want to grow everything. I bet you I'll end up with a giant garden one year. Do you think? Yep. Look how nostalgic this is I haven't been in Toys R Us in a hot minute but I have a birthday party to go to this weekend and look all of the Care Bears and then look at this look at the little Canada one <gasps> these are sweet this is my soil I actually think it's really good that we bought two do you think Chunks, you break them apart yeah. with your hands. Yeah. It's not manure, is it? No, it's just manure. We didn't buy manure. Huh? 
I have my sister on staff now filming. <laughs> Dad's my lighting guy. My sister does the filming. Mom, you know how to edit? No. I'm getting tired of being a one woman show over here. Just okay, good. What? Yeah. I pay in meals. Oh, that's good. Do you think I need more soil? You want to come see? Well, put some soil in this one and then see if you have any left over then. Okay. That looks good, eh? Oh, I know. It's gonna look real nice. Just call me Polly. You want scissors? I mean, knife? No. I got it. Yeah, that's good. Guys. Is that good? Yeah. And I, so, I think I would put a little bit more in there. Trevor's not going to know the patio when he comes home. Trevor just wrote planting. You're cute. Is that what he wrote? Yeah. He texted me that? Yeah. Yeah. I told him I was planting things. Didn't mean to read your text, but I read your That's text. That's okay, sister. That should be good. The other part you can just leave, put on the... There. Okay, friends. This is my little patio garden. So... No judgment this is my first time ever doing anything like this at all and i'm just the type of person that just has to learn on their own <laughs> with advice obviously but i just i tried researching things and i just i was getting overwhelmed so we'll see it's going to be trial and error and see how i do my first year ever literally having anything living ever besides my children <laughs> and my cat i literally don't I, I never do this but i bought this beautiful plant I don't know the name. I have no idea, but I bought it so I could sit it right here and I can look at it while I have my coffee. I was drawn to it because I really love the color of the leaves. Pink and green are my favorite colors. So this plant, as soon as I seen it, I gasped. I was like, oh my like, I need to have it. So let me know in the comments if you know what this is. I have no idea. Maybe there's a tag on it somewhere that tells me. But anyways, that's beautiful. If you're local, I got it at Van Campen's. Over here, in this pot, we have sweet peppers. So this is going to be a, a pepper, I guess. This is a strawberry plant. And yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Move this out a bit. I don't know much about this stuff. We got my green onions in there. I don't know if that will work. I literally stuck green onions in there and see what happens because they're growing in my kitchen. So I figured I could let them try to grow out here. I don't know. If not, I'll just rip them out. That's not a big deal. In here, we planted all stream beans. So this is all stream beans, yellow beans, because my sister says they grow tall and they like will take over and... Um, well, I kind of remember planting those in school, so I think I know what they look like. But we do eat a lot of string beans, so I just filled this whole thing with string beans. And the guy at the store said the best thing to do is to plant those by seed because he said they're very easy and hardy to grow. So I took his advice. This is extra peppers. I just don't have any place to put it, so mom's going to take those. So she's going to bring them to her house. This is another strawberry plant. So I have two strawberry things. And then over here, we have romaine lettuce. So I bought these starters, so they're already started. So this one's lettuce, this one's lettuce, and this one is cucumber. Um, my sister was telling me that cucumber kind of takes over as well, so I gave it its own thing. So I put a cucumber in there by seed because uh, the guy said right now is the time to plant it, I guess, and that they just planted their seeds at the greenhouse. So I was like, well, I can just try to plant my own seed. seed. But it's trial and error, right? So, and then look at my little bush. <laughs> Hi, change yet? It's a real life Animal Crossing. So I got one of these and I'm not done. So I've always, as much as I'm not into flowers or anything like that, I've always noticed people when they've had hydrangeas. I've always noticed them and I've always said, if I knew how to do it, I would plant one. Well, guess what? You just dig a hole and put it in. It's pretty easy. So I got one of these. These do grow to be 
bushy and fluffy and everything over time, I think, because everyone's eye sees is huge. But uh, so I planted it a bit away from the deck, but I'm going to get more because what I didn't think it was going to be that easy. So what I'm going to do is I have one here and then I'm going to put one in the middle and then one at the end of the other end of the deck here so that I have three and then there'll be three big bushes and then I can put something in between them over time. It's a work in progress. Like literally my five year goal is to have the whole front yard of my house like beautifully landscaped with flowers. But this is how we're starting. And one day I will look back on this and maybe laugh at what I'm trying to do. Maybe this doesn't make sense. Maybe I did it wrong. I will find out. Uh, but I'll look back on this and be like, oh my gosh, look at my one little bush that I planted. <laughs> oh gosh, anyways, you guys, it's a start and I'm really, really proud of myself. I had a lot of fun. My fingers were a mess, like disgusting, like really bad. They're still, like, I've been scrubbing them and everything, but like I should have put gloves on perhaps. Oops. So my nails though, guys, this has been almost a full entire week with the polish that I got for Mother's Day and there's not a single chip, nothing. Like that is a legit kit, so I really like it. But this makes me really happy. I'm really looking forward to having my coffee out here in the morning and looking at my flowers and my little garden and and just learning. This is very, very new for me and I do love learning, but I, I gotta do it at my own pace. So, um, this is doable for me because I knew if I dug up the whole yard, I would be overwhelmed. Like I just know myself. Oh my God, a bee, a bee literally, oh, you said a little bee. I just know myself. If I dug up the whole yard, I would be so overwhelmed and then I would be out of it like this, like way quicker than this. Like this is manageable to me and this makes sense in my head. I don't know. I'm really excited. Well, Happy Saturday, guys. We're going to go check on the plant babies. How's everyone doing out here? <gasps> My little flowers. They look so cute. These are so beautiful. I love these so much. I'm really glad I got this. It's really, really pretty. Okay. The peppers look the same as they did yesterday. You guys, I'm going to be obsessed over these. They tell me the flowers turn into strawberries. We have flowers. The green onion grew. I don't know if that's a thing, if that's what you do with green onion. Literally bought at the grocery store and stuck them in the, they grew. obviously haven't sprouted yet these guys are doing good my lettuce it's been literally 12 hours I'm like look how good my lettuce is <laughs> oh my gosh the plants all look good I am back at the garden center I am not done I am now gonna grow lettuce, <laughs> or not lettuce, celery. But look, I'm also getting into flowers, not just gardening. So I have more stuff, this is all my cart. But I want to, um... oh, I love these. I wanna make my own arrangement in a pot. You think? Yeah, come this way. Oh my gosh, I am obsessed beyond words with this. This is called a tropical rose and it's seasonal. So it doesn't... Is that like that and then these two on the side? Yeah, let's put this here. I'm officially done of my patio garden. It's exactly how I want it. I had to pick up a few other things today and now I'm good for this year. I already have plans in my head for next year and I feel like this was the best way to do things because it's a good way to start, learn how to plant, learn what can do what and all this crap. Like I'm still, obviously I'm still learning, but like I already feel more confident 
than I was like two days ago with doing all of this. And I feel like next year I might be able to do something in the yard. But like for right now, I am so happy with all of this. And I'll show you the new pieces that I got. So we've seen all of this. So I ended up planting the extra peppers in this one here. So those two are peppers, my strawberries. This all stayed the same. Mom can't believe how much these grown since yesterday. <laughs> uh, yeah, strawberry. I bought my sister a strawberry plant. So that's going home with her. Celery, I planted some celery. We'll see how they do. And then that's my cucumber, the lettuce, you've seen that. But this is new. The green pepper, the other one is new. Then, I planted this outside here in front of the deck and it is one of these things. I put this here so I can remember. Pineal, pineal, I don't know how to say that. My sister has this at her house and it is beautiful when it's grown. And so this is like, they tell me that this is gonna last, like this will come back every year. So this is like a, a good one to have. Then, this guy i designed all on my own i just picked out the things at the store that i liked and i just planted them in this thing i just think it looks very volcano bay very tropical i love that you guys know i love these leaves super cute i have a king rose in here scarlet king and then something else what is that tropical rose so that's what that is but this will die in the cold so the girl told me if you notice that we're gonna have a cold evening take it inside and then you guys seen this but then look I got two more so I planted that in the ground and I planted that in the ground so over time these three are going to be beautiful big bushes so I'm waiting till they grow for a little bit, a couple of years and spread and do what they're gonna do before I put anything in between them. But ideally, I'm gonna have something in between them. So that's my new stuff I added and I'm really happy with it. I can't wait to come out here and just watch the fruits of my labor. <laughs> this is where I'm gonna leave you for the week, guys. I will not be continuing weekly vlogs. This was just something that I did for this week because we didn't really have a lot going on other than the planting and stuff. And I haven't made a weekly vlog in over a year. And I used to make them all the time. So I kind of wanted to make them. I'm gonna be honest, I don't like making them anymore. I used to love making them, but I just feel like I have a lot to say all the time. And then I feel like I edit myself too much because I want to try to fit everything in a 30 minute video instead of three hours and I don't know I just like doing the day by day videos but I really wanted to try out the weekly vlog and see what I thought I don't love it so I mean not that I don't love the video I don't love making them so I'm gonna stick with what I like but I'm glad I tried it out again and uh yeah I'll be back very soon I'm gonna film my Q&A video hopefully on Tuesday I was going to Monday but we got some plans happening on Monday I didn't realize Monday was a holiday it's Victoria Day here in Canada so happy Victoria Day to my fellow, well, I guess it'd be Victoria Day in Europe, eh? Would it be? It's the Queen's birthday? United Kingdom. What? United Kingdom? Not Europe. I don't know. If you're celebrating, happy Canada Day. Victoria Day weekend. I hope you guys are having a good one. And I'll be back very, very soon with a Q&A, some vlogs. Maybe some mucking around. Who knows what you'll get. But we'll be back very, very soon with another video. 